。おはようございます。おはようございます。日本語わかりますか。はい、日本語は。わかりますか。わかります。お素晴らしい。ありがとうございます。はい。えっ、ーえー、と、私は倉持です。I am a principal language Japanese language school in Shinjuku, Tokyo. And we have a special guest from India. She is Tarana san. Hello. <laughs> she can help you to find a way to come to Japan. Then she will give you a speech at the end of this seminar. So please looking forward to hearing from her. At the end, okay, and、uh, maybe we will have a Q and A session with her. Okay, so first of all, I want to introduce myself and our school to you.、Um, okay. Can you hear my slide? Can you see my slide now? はい。We have five strengths.、Okay. The first one, we provide one iPad to each student at school. All of materials are on shared cloud, so you can reach them through your PC or smartphone anytime from any place. Two, Our school was established in 2018 in Shinjuku. Shinjuku is the center of Tokyo. The school is very close to the Shinjuku station, so you may walk from Shinjuku station to school easily. The building is still very new and clean. Three, we have developed curriculum to improve your Japanese language and communication skills. There are plenty of times to practice of talking during classes. Number four, all of us are professional and experienced teachers. We have various different careers before being a Japanese language teacher. Five, we support you to find a good job in Japan, how to make CV. How to do job interview, information of job fair, and recruiting companies introduction. Now, let me introduce our teaching members who help you to make your dream reality. Okay, let's start again.、Uh, this is me. My name is Motoko Kuramochi. I am a principal of Language Japanese Language School. I have been teaching Japanese for over 30 years now. I have visited India a couple of times, so I'm very familiar with Indian culture and the people. Here you see our team's member. Konomi Ishii is one of our coordinators. She holds MBA from Waseda University. And has rich knowledge and experience on teaching business Japanese. So now I can introduce you one teacher.、Um, it's Ko Okada, Okada Sensei. Konnichiwa. She is a career counselor with national certificate. So she supports you to find a good job in Japan. And I have another teacher here, Nana Yamamoto. <laughs> Nana, sensei. Nana sensei holds a master degree of Japanese language education. She is very friendly but also super professional. <laughs> okay, now I'm explaining the course. There are twice chances to enter our school April and October. 
from April, you join one year course. And from October, you can join one year and a six month course. Let me explain how special and unique our courses are. Feature one, our students use iPad during classes. All activities such as drills, group works, tests, and quizzes are conducted via online. You can learn how to type Japanese writing, and it is very helpful when you work in a Japanese company. Feature two, there are lots of project work as individual and also as group. Teamwork mind is essential when you work in a Japanese company. So it can be very useful to learn how to work in a team. You can be used to how is working as a team at language classes. Feature three, we focus on improving speaking skill because it is one of the most important one in the Japanese company. So there are lots of practice of speech, presentation, and discussion at our classes. So here are some explanations about the curriculum. We have created our curriculum based on three pillars. The first one, Japanese language and culture. Classes contain many elements from basic to advanced. For example, pronunciation and intonation, understanding sentence structure and grammar, dictation and conversation practice, vocabulary development, reading comprehension training, Understanding Japanese culture. So, second pillar, business, Japanese, and communication. They are very useful when you start working in Japanese company, such as honorific expressions as keigo, situational practice, for example, business meeting, asking permission, making proposals, receiving instructions, speech, debate, and presentation, business writing, and business case study. So pillar three. This is our very strong point. We help you to find a job in Japan. For example, job hunting activities have special rules and process in Japan. It is very hard to understand for foreigners, so we support our students. Examples, how to do self-analysis and promotion, how to make CV, job interview practice, how to do industry and company research. Sometimes we can introduce internship for you. Students at Lingwage study very hard every day. But, of course, there are lots of fun time with classmates. There are pictures of excursions. They visit amusement parks, temples, museums. They enjoy Japanese culture and activities at our summer festival. We are looking forward to seeing you here in Japan. Please come to Japan. Thank you very much. So if you have any questions, me or Tarana-san can reply to you now. Any questions? It's quiet. Are you okay? Ah, just a little bit. I'll tell you something from my side. ライドを少し戻っていただきたいんですが、よろしいでしょうか。どの辺ですか？えっとね、三つの柱のうちの二番目で。はい。はい。はい。三つの柱のピンピラスのところですね。なんだか。
、うん、それの流れで、はい、あもっと、あ、ごめんなさい、最初の方で、1番目です、失礼いたしました。はい、はいえっと、アンダースタンディングジャパニーズカルチャーの部分はどんな形の、えー、と特別に何かをやっていらっしゃるかを少しご説明いただけますでしょうか。あえー、えっとこここのファーストピラーは、はい、あのジェネラルな部分なので、えーえーはい、ビジネスカルチャーというよりはジェネラルジャパニーズカルチャーなんですね。はい、はい、わかりました。はい、素敵なイベントをしたりします。これはあのクラスの中でやる形になりますか。それともね、課外授業とか節分とか、<笑>あのひな祭りとか。ああ、わかりました。イベントとかそういった形のそうです。だから日本のカルチャーを説明をして、そのイベントを、まあ小さいイベントをこう学校の中でやるとか、そういうことです。あ、わかりました。はい。これはもう本当に専門によります。まずあの専門に合うものが、はい、そのリクルーティングの会社から私たちの学校にご紹介があったときに、はい、あ専門の学生がいるねっていうことで、会社さんの方に紹介をして、はい、それがインターンシップにつながるっていうことが、今ままでありましたなるほど、そうすると、はい、インターンシップの間は、学校の学生として通いながら、インターンシップをするっていう形になるわけです。そうですねあの、スチューデントビザなので、学校に、えー、1日4時間勉強してもらうというのがマンダトリーになるので、はい、その、はい、大体半日なんですね、ハーフデイ、モーニングクラスかあとアフタヌーンクラスになるので、これ以外の時間でインターンシップできるように、企業さんももちろんそこは組んでくれます。あー分かりましたはいであの、まあ、運が良ければそれそれでそれがもう優勝とお金をもらえるインターンシップになることもあるので、あはい、気に入ってもらって、そのままジョブオファーをもらうとか、そういうケースが一番いいなと思っています。そうですねはい、今、ちょっと学生の方からですね、あのアコモデーションについての情報が欲しいという質問があったんですけれども。はいそれとこのあの後のパートのスライドでご紹介します。はい、もう一つ、はい、はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. My name is Kura Mochi. I am the teacher in charge of Linguage Japanese Language School. Linguage is a Japanese language school located in the heart of Tokyo. Our school is located just five minutes away. We are now at Zenkin Plaza 2. This is where Linguage is located. Language, we not only teach Japanese but also teach Japanese business culture and support the students. 
Our students come from all over the world, and most of our students want to work in Japan. We use iPads during lessons, and our entire curriculum and contents are available online for our students to access at home. We teach grammar, vocabulary, kanji, Hegel, and our main focus is Japanese business communication. Let's hear from our students. Yeah, it's really good. I learned a lot about the professional world. I learned a lot about how to work in Japan in general. So yeah, I really like it. Uh, I have decided to to uh, come back. So in France to enter a uh, master course of international economy. So I, I think with this uh, experience of living in Japan, uh, that's a very good advantage uh, to study and research for economy or history. Uh, I'm doing studying here and uh, thinking about working uh, in Japan. So many things like self-respect, politeness, uh, respect, safety, uh, these things attract uh, anybody to live and like life in uh, Tokyo. We teach students how to write and prepare resumes and we also practice job interviews with the students. Students are also taught how to search for a job online using job portals. to help people find jobs for free. There are many companies participating in this job fair. See you at Linkwich. to show you with English subtitle, but it couldn't, very sorry. So next one, just see the real session about business communication. They do practice of giving and receiving business card, Meiji.
ジャパニーズスタディアンジョブスアンライフイントキョ。そうヒアアジェンダフォトデイ。ワンピチョブトキョ。ツーピチャーズオブワーキングインジャパン。ツーアベイルボージョブスフォーコレナーズ。フォー
They are burned, buried, or recycled, <laughs> depending on the materials. There are bathrooms everywhere in Tokyo. Parks, stations, shops, public halls, any places. Anywhere you see a public bathroom, it will surprise you. They are very neat and clean for free use. Cleaning staff regularly come and check the condition of public bathrooms many times a day, and they clean them up perfectly. So city of Tokyo is very clean. No garbage on the road. Sky is clearly blue because air and water are clean. The second C is convenient. Tokyo is a very convenient city. There are lots of convenience stores all over Tokyo. Many of convenience stores open 24 hours and no holiday. You can do very things there, not only buying food and drinks, but also you can do following things. Book and buy a ticket of events such as concert, sports, match, movie, and so on. Send a package as post delivery. Pay various bills, phone, electricity, health insurance, tax, and so on. There are about 40 lines of train, including subway, over Tokyo area. They run from early morning to late at night every day with very reasonable train fare. You may buy a pre-charged card like this. It can be charged at the station or convenience store. Then you may use it uh, for even shopping. The third C is comfortable. Tokyo is a huge city and there are plenty of green places. You can enjoy walking, lunch, picnic, chatting, playing musical instruments, and other tree. And there are many shopping malls in and around Tokyo. They have long hallways where you can enjoy shopping without concerning weather. When you enter a shop or cafe, you will encounter a smiling face every time. Japanese are well trained to keep polite attitude when they serve to customers. Finally, we are at S as feature of Tokyo. What is S? It's Safe. Tokyo is an incredibly safe city. A young woman can walk alone on the road after 12 o'clock in midnight. If you come to Japan, you will see many people sleeping deeply on the train. Sometimes they let their back open while sleeping, but usually nothing happens. We usually put our bags under the table and the mobile phone on the table when we sit in a cafe. It is not rare. We leave for a bathroom with leaving things around the table. Again, usually nothing happens. I want to tell you another meaning of safe. It is life protection. Anyone who lives in Japan affords to join national health insurance system with reasonable payment. You can access Japanese standard medical treatment, including dental treatment, during stay in Japan. Your health is protected with high quality medication of Japan. So now, hope you understand how Tokyo is better. Now, we are looking into Japanese corporate culture. I will show you how it's working in Japan. One, Japanese companies put priority on potential. They prefer new graduate who has no experience but only have basic skills and knowledge. They train new graduate freshmen with various trainings including OJT because they expect them to work for a long time, ideally until the end of working life. Two, job security. It is strictly prohibited to lay off workers easily in Japan. Workers are protected by law and they have right to keep working for the same company with the same condition. 
three, globalization of career path. If you want to be successful in your career, knowledge and experience of Asia is mandatory. With knowing various working culture and styles, you may get advantage to your career path. Now, we are looking into what kind of jobs are available for foreigners. Before seeing available jobs, let's check the background of high demand for foreigners in Japan. Japan is now breaking into super aging society and we are seriously under the condition of lack of workforce. As you see the graph, the population in Japan has been shrinking. Orange bar is from zero to 14 years old, beige is from 15 to 64, light blue is from uh, 65 to 74, and the blue one is over 75. Our average age is now 46. Population is over 65. Indian average is just 27, but you are very young. We definitely need young workers as soon as possible. Here are jobs which can be open for foreigners for a Bachelor of Arts, such as translator, human resources, hotel staff, sales staff, and trade, trading administration, and manager for foreigners team are available. For a Bachelor of Science, of course, engineer, IT, mechanical, electric, programmer, designer, as web design, mechanical products are available. As a reference, here are data of average salary of full-time employment as new graduates with bachelor degree. Monthly salary is 1.4 lakh to 1.5 lakh. In addition, Japanese companies provide various welfare programs. For example, health insurance, unemployment insurance, paid holidays, transportation fee support, and so on. Now let's check we are who are potential employees for Japanese companies. Here are information about potential person who is wanted by Japanese companies. One, bachelor degree. Two, for engineers, Japanese ability, JLPT M2 is a good advantage. Sometimes it works with even M3. For non-engineers, Higher Japanese ability is required, so N2 plus is better. Fluent English is also very good skill to have, but required official certificates. Three, understanding Japanese industry and working culture. Four, being able to communicate in Japanese way. In order to become a person mentioned just now, Experience of Japanese life is good advantage because it would be very difficult to understand how Japanese act and learn attitude how employees should be without living in Japan. Studying Japanese in Japan is a better way to get a good job in Japan. During study, you can improve Japanese skill and understand the way of Japanese thinking. So here we have a little information about new working visa. This is very new from uh, to April 2019. It is called Specified Skilled Worker Visa. Let me confirm the requirement for this visa. Bachelor degree is not required. There are five years of limitation and work permit only for a specified area must have JLPT N4 or above, must pass technical exams of specified area, same salary as Japanese workers. As for specified area, there are 14 categories, hotel, construction, fishery, care for elder, agriculture, building cleaning, food service, and food beverage. Manufacturing, industrial machinery manufacturing, electric information related, uh, shipbuilding, 
car maintenance, mold material, and aviation. I think this is another way to get a job in Japan now. So now let's get back to regular job hunting timetable. We have five steps here. First step, studying Japanese in India until N4 or N3. Second step, studying Japanese in Japan with a student visa until N2. Also, you can study business Japanese and communication in this period. Third step, during study, researching potential companies. Fourth step, preparing resume, CV, and practicing job interview during this study period. Fifth step, applying and taking entrance examinations for companies. Good preparation is key to success. Now I am showing you a couple of examples of successful students to get a job. Case one from Nepal, female, 27 years old. Finance. Stage zero, studied Japanese in Nepal for six months before coming to Japan. Stage one, entered Japanese school on October 2017. Stage two, studied job research from April 2018. Stage three, studied job hunting from June. She attended various job fairs and receiving job interviews. Stage four, took JLPT N3 on July. Stage five, get a job offer from eyewear production and sales company. She joined the company from April 2019. She keeps studying at the Japanese school until then. Case two, from Vietnam, male, 23 years old. His major is electric engineering. Stage zero, studied Japanese in Vietnam before coming to Japan. Stage one, entered Japanese school on April 2018. Stage two, studied job research right after entering school. Stage three, took JLPT N4 on July. Stage four, started wo working as an intern in an electric company on July. Then he got a job offer from that company and joined the company from April 2019. Case three from Uzbekistan, male, 24 years old. His major is politics and Japanese culture. Stage zero, studied Japanese in his country for one year before coming to Japan. Stage one, entered Japanese school on October 2017. Stage two, studied job research from April 2018. Stage three, studied job hunting from June. He attended various job fairs and uh, receiving job interviews. Stage four, took JLPT N2 on July. Stage five, get a job offer from trading company as an overseas sales on July and started working from October 2018. So now I know you are wondering how much money you need to live in Tokyo. I'm giving you an answer. So this is an example of cost to join Japanese language school in Japan. Admission and registration, 24,000 Indian rupee. So tuition, 517 per year. So if you can prepare such kind of money, you can come to Japan to study and after studying, you can find a job. Here an uh, average of monthly rent in Tokyo. Student dormitory, about 30,000 monthly. Share house, 40,000 monthly. Apartment, 50,000 monthly. Here you see some pictures of a student dormitory where we made a contract for a foreign student. 
uh, bedrooms with two beds and uh, desk, the kitchen, bathroom, and so on. Okay, here's monthly average living cost in Tokyo. Total monthly cost is 70,000 to 80,000 as a student. Rent, food, electricity, water, gas, mobile phone, transportation, health insurance, study, including books, and other. Average is about Indian rupee 17,000 to 18,000 rupee. The foreigners with the student visa, they work legally up to 28 hours weekly. Average hourly wage in Tokyo is 700 to 800. Average monthly wage is 70,000 to 85,000. As I mentioned, average monthly cost is from 70,000 to 80,000. So you can get by with money you earn in Japan during study. There are examples of part-time job in Japan, dishwashing, waiter, waitress, cleaning in the building, bed making, shop staff in a convenience store, food processing factory, picking and sorting in a distribution center, and so on. Of course, better Japanese skill is a good advantage to find a better job with higher payment. For example, telephone operator, money exchange window, clerk and reception, English teacher, if you speak common English fluently. So that's all for today, my information for you about the study and living in Tokyo. Thank you very much for hearing my presentation. Any questions are welcome for now. あの、そうですね。そうなんですよ。でも、えっと、プロパビザを目指すと思うんですけど、で、えっと、この例えばバチェラーじゃない学生が、はい。なので日本に来た後に
。もしそういう方がいたら。はい。はい。はい、ありがとうございます。はい。OJT、はいはい、の意味は何ですかっていう質問なんですけど、はい。あの、オンザジョブトレーニングですね。仕事しながら覚えるっていう意味です。これ、いやいや、えっと、この OGT はあの会社に入ってからの話ですよね。あそうですねあ。会社に入ってからです。はい。はい。オージェンティの前、えー、オージェンティの時っていうのが、あ、ごめんなさい。えー、そっか、答えしはい。これも会社に入った状態でオージェンティを受ける形になります。そうですね、そうです。はい。はい。あ、あ、多分、大丈夫だと思います。はい。日本の会社は経験をあまり、その、言わないで、フレッシュマンを取って、会社に入った後にいろんなトレーニングをするっていう説明でした。あ、はい。あの年齢はどのぐらい、この年齢のなんていうんですかね、このパーマネントエンプロイメントの年齢は大体何歳ぐらいからかっていう。ございますあのこのフレッシュマンのことですかえ、フレッシュマンということは大卒すぐっていうことですよね。はい、イメージとしてはそうです。はい。フレッシュマンって、23歳とか、このぐらいですけどね。22歳ですね。まあ、せいぜい25歳ぐらいまでです。はい。はい。アンダー、レスタント、レスタント25。その後でも逆にその、経験が問われます。それより年がいっている人は経験を問われます、ね。経験が必要です。あ、大丈夫です。はい、はい、ありがとうございます。はい。えっ、ー、と、じゃあ、清水先生、今日はこれで終わりますかあ、そうですね。えっ、ー、と、エニー、エニアがクエスチョン OK? はい、あ大丈夫です。そしたらですね、あのえー、ともしよろしければあの、よろしい部分だけそのビデオをシェアしていただければありがたいなというのと、ねはいはい、あと、あのはい、今日お使いになったスライドというのは、後でシェアしていただくと可能でございますか、えー、とはい、わかりました。はい、私から、皆さんにあの、えー、アクセスできるようにお知らせをします。はい、でちょっと私の方からちょっと個別にあの質問したいことはございません。特にあの特定のところですね、はい。それは後でちょっと、うん、あのご教示いただければと思います。そうですね。はい、あのお願いいたします。はい。はい。すみません。じゃあ,あのえっと予定を超えてあのちょっとこちらの方が番組が悪くなって申し訳ございませんでした。はい。ありがとうございました。はい。ありがとうございます。Thank you so much for the coming to the seminar. ありがとうございます。頑張ってください。はいはい、ありがとうございます。